In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me for Mass today. I'm celebrating this Mass for Dermot Cox. Remember in our prayers today, Sean Carroll, who is beginning five days of radiotherapy treatment. A link to what I'm wearing today, because this Marian vestment was given to me by Siobhan's family in memory of her parents. Pope Pius V instituted today's feast of Our Lady of the Rosary on the anniversary of the naval battle at Lepanto in 1571. It was said that the Christians were victorious because of the help of the Mother of God invoked by the saying of the Rosary. Today's celebration urges all to meditate on the mysteries of Christ following the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary who was intimately involved in the Incarnation and the Passion and the Resurrection of her Son, Jesus. Today's feast is a great festival of thanksgiving for the countless benefits bestowed through the Rosary of our Blessed Queen, Our Lady. And on this day of the first anniversary of the Hamas terrorist attacks on Israel, we pray for the situation in Israel. We have a message from the Archbishop for this day, uh, which I'll share with you after Holy Communion. We're asked to spread peace in all our lives, but some of the time by the way we behave, we don't spread peace. So for those times, we begin by calling them to mind, confessing them to the Lord and asking his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, through the intercession of the blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had ascended into heaven, the apostles went back to Jerusalem, a short distance away, no more than a Sabbath walk. And when they reached the city, they went into the upper room where they were staying. There were Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Jude, son of James. All these joined in continuous prayer, together with several women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to, to God. God. The response to the psalm is, The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. 
The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, O highly favoured, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed, disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favour. Listen. You are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people called barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary, let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. I mentioned at the beginning, uh, we have a message from the Archbishop for today's feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, which is also, as I mentioned, the first anniversary of the terrorist attacks on Israel. And this is the message from Archbishop Malcolm. Dear brothers and sisters, as we approach the first anniversary of the latest conflict in the Holy Land, we pray for all who have been affected. We also pray for peace. We have been invited by the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Cardinal Pizzaballa, to a day of prayer, fasting and penance on Monday the 7th of October 2024. This is also the memorial of Our Lady of the Rosary. We ask for her intercession to help end the conflict and to provide safety to the people of the Holy Land. I will be saying the Rosary in the Metropolitan Cathedral at 4.30pm, followed by Mass at 5pm. Please join me in this act of prayer and worship. I think when we look at the situation in the Holy Land, it seems very intractable that there is so much hate and disagreement on every side. And I think, you know, when countries as powerful in the US and so many things are trying to get peace and it still eludes us, we need to turn to the words of Our Lady in the Gospel today. Well, it's actually the, day, the words to Our Lady from the angel where it says, for nothing is impossible to God. So our only proper response in to the f problems that the world faces is to trust in the Lord and turn to him in prayer. And so we pray the rosary today for peace in the Holy Land. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring, and so honour the mysteries of your only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of his promises, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name on the feast day of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, his assistant bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. With you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that just as we proclaim in this sacrament the death and resurrection of your Son, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Many thanks for joining me for Mass today. Take care. Bye. God bless and see you soon.